But with elections coming up in May, one local school district is trying to spread the word about their multi-million dollar bond proposal. Connolly ISD invited community members to a meeting to answer any questions they may have about a $39 million bond proposal for a new elementary school. Superintendent Wesley Holt says the current elementary campus has been around since the 60s and no longer meets several size or safety requirements set by the Texas Education Agency and American Disability Association. Now this bond was rejected by voters in November. One Lacey Lakeview resident says he also voted no back then, but he'll be changing his vote to yes now that he has seen the condition that school's in. It's appalling. It's appalling. It's an embarrassment. Uh, to to the people that live in, at least for me as a property owner it's an embarrassment that this school this school building the elementary school building is in that condition and then when I read the statistics the metrics from the TEA I start to wonder oh now I know why in part is because is there opportunity to learn at an optimal level I believe it is not now, the school district says the bond will cost homeowners $12 per home valued at $150,000 or less. Those 65 and older or anyone with a disability won't have to pay that due to the homestead exemption. Early voting for the Connolly ISD bond begins Monday. Election day is May 7th.